Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to our channel. We're continuing the series of tutorials dedicated to WooCommerce. Previously, we designed the WooCommerce products grid, and in today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at Jesmar Filters plugin, create custom product filters, and finish designing the shop page by adding different filtering widgets. Before we begin, please make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell. And now, let's get to this. First of all, I want you to make sure that when you open Jasmine Filters plugin settings, everything is toggled on, especially WooCommerce Archive, as we will be working with the shop page today. If you want to use indexed filters, just enable the next functionality. As for the widgets, there are 15 amazing filtering widgets, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to apply and style them. So before we begin creating the filters and applying the widgets, I want to show you where all the information about the products will be pulled from. Usually filters work with product categories or product tags, however Jesmar filters allows to narrow the taxonomy and use custom product attributes. And I personally think that it's super helpful as your customers will have a wider range of filtering options. To create custom product attributes, simply go to Product – Attributes, add new attribute and then add attribute terms that will be assigned to products and variations. Once it's done, go to the products, edit the necessary ones, and in the product data you'll see attributes. Unfold custom product attribute, choose one of the attributes that you previously created and select the terms. Now let's create the filters. For that, go to Smart Filters and click on Add New. This first filter will help the customers to sort the products by product type. I'm gonna name it Checkboxes Filter, Product Types and specify that this filter is for the shop template. Fill in the labels as well and a bit below you'll see Filtering Settings. Filter type will be the same checkboxes list. Data Source – Taxonomies And as for the taxonomy itself, you can choose for example Product Categories or select one of your custom attributes, for example Product Types. Then check if Relational Operator is set to Union and Exclude Include is set to None and finally click on Publish. Ok, let's create a couple more filters here. The second one will be for the product length and then I'm gonna create product size filter. One of my favorite filters is visual filter. And I'm gonna create different filters as I want to use two visual filters widgets on my shop page. The first one, color filter. Select visual for the filter type, taxonomy will be product color. Type color and behavior checkbox. In the options list field, you'll be able to add all the colors that you want. It requires a bit of work here selecting the right colors, although it always looks fascinating on the front end. The second visual filter will be for the image. So the taxonomy will be product image, type image, and behavior radio. Add the images, in my case it's just brands logos and click publish. Last but not least, range filter for the product price. Filter type will be range, then values prefix is a currency symbol, values suffix dot double zero, decimal separator dot, minimal value leave it empty and maximum depends on the maximum price of your product, let it be 1000. I'm gonna set step to 1, but you're free to set any number here. And in the last field, select WooCommerce Minimum Maximum Prices. A bit below you'll find Query Settings. Type the following meta field name and publish the filter. I think we've added all the necessary filters, so now we can apply the widgets. Open the page where you want to apply the widgets. In my case, it's gonna be Shop Page. I'm gonna start working with the left side of the page. For the first example, let's search for checkboxes filter in the elements panel and drag the widget. In the content tab, you'll see this select filter option. Now type the name of the filter that you created before. Let it be checkboxes filter product type. 
Then whatever filter you choose here, make sure that you always select WooCommerce Archive if you're working with the shop page. Lastly, toggle on Show Filter Label and let's style the widget a bit. Set everything to zero in the items. Now unfold item, set the color and style the text. Proceed to checkbox and checkbox icon. Lastly, style the label. If you remember, I created a filter for the length, so I'm gonna apply select filter now. Again, type the name of the filter, specify that it's for WooCommerce archive, style it by changing the width of the field and font text. As for the visual filters, I'm gonna apply the first one and select color filter. You can leave items labels or open filter options and untoggle show items label. In the style tab, set line for the filter's position, horizontal and vertical offsets will be 10. Now I'm gonna unfold color image and change the size to let's say 22. Offset left, 0. Now add a border if needed and if you want to make it round, just add border radius. Style the label and that's it. Let's apply the same filter one more time and select image. To change the size of the images, simply go to Style, Color Image, Size. Let's apply Range Filter for the price. This one is super easy to style. Play with the slider settings, set the size that better suits your store and style the text. To make your shop page look complete, you can also add something like Featured Products and Pagination. And here is the final result. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.